Progress isn't always about moving forward. Sometimes you need to go backwards to move forward faster in the future. So I ripped my game apart and I started from scratch. Let me tell you why. Okay, so before we get to the code, which we'll get to soon, it's important to understand how hard it can be for us to identify when and how to start over. A few weeks ago, I was listening to a podcast, which I'll link to below if you're curious. They talk about the concept of less is more. They present a study that shows how that concept is not practiced in reality. They presented their participants with the objective of leveling an unstable structure with as few steps as possible. Even when presented with financial incentives to level that structure, they tended to choose the option that was more difficult, which included adding nine blocks to the structure instead of just removing one single block. The conclusion here was that we are basically pre-programmed to think of addition first. It might just come down to we associate subtraction with negativity so we tend to just not think of it as an option. Let me know if you've ever caught yourself adding to code when it was probably better for you to subtract code. So with that in mind, I'm gonna talk a bit about why I ripped my game apart and how I've changed my approach to building Replicator. Let's dive in. So if you remember the video from a few weeks ago, the general approach of Replicator was that I was spawning sprites into the into the scene and moving them around through SK actions toward a target that was decided through some algorithm, right? The problem with this approach was that I was running into issues with scaling and I couldn't figure out how to build the game that I wanted to build. So I spent some time kind of brainstorming and researching other ways to build this game. And the solution that I ended up coming up with was to ax everything that I was working on and try a new approach. That approach being Swift's framework, Gameplay Kit. Gameplay Kit was introduced in part of iOS 9 way back in 2015. And it's a way of organizing your game into what's known as an entity component system. This is similar to how Unity actually behaves. The basic concept here is that you build entities by adding different components to them. As a result, you have all of these components that you can reuse on different entities throughout your game. The point is that it's very scalable and the code is reusable. However, the problem that I have is I've never used Gameplay Kit before and learning how to get this all working has been slow and frustrating. So anyway, let me show you where I'm at with my code so far. The entities. So far, I've tried to keep things pretty simple just so that I can have a basic starting point for me to build off of in the future. Eventually, we'll have some kind of puzzle elements to the game. Each level will ask the player to do something specific. To get started, I created the three entities that I needed. One for Repli, one for food, and one for homes. And these will serve as the foundational entities for these things, and my hope is to subclass them so that I can build a variety of objects with different behaviors attached to them. The components that I've started with are, again, pretty basic. I needed my sprite component, I needed a movement component, and I have a physics component. And these are also a very simple scripts. The idea is that as I build more functionality into the game, I will be able to use these components as well as build new components to add to my entities moving forward. The biggest benefit to Gameplay Kit is actually the behavior system. So I've started to dabble with this. It's very rudimentary right now, but the idea is that you can build these behaviors and goals into your entities and they will do things when they have a certain goal that they need to meet. So it's a way of building sort of a primitive AI into your game, right? So the Reply will have these goals and these behaviors associated with them and they will move around the map accordingly. At least that's what I'm hoping. If you have any experience with Gameplay Kit or entity component systems in general, please leave a comment below and let me know if you think I'm on the right track or if there's something else I should be looking into. If you've enjoyed this video, like all of my videos, please give them a like so that they can be surfaced to more people on YouTube. And just as a quick announcement, coming up in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna be experimenting with YouTube Shorts. I'm gonna try and do a short a day for a week, so stay on the lookout for that. Bye for now.